हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू क्रिएटिव मेडिसिन इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल लर्न अबाउट हेलो फ्रेंड्स लेट अस नाउ लर्न सम इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स अबाउट द एक्टोपिक सो इफ यू सी इन द एक्टोपिक क्राइटेरियाज ऑफ एक्टोपिक वी हैव डिफरेंट क्राइटेरियाज फॉर एक्टोपिक प्रेगनेंसी one for the abdominal pregnancy we have a criteria called has study fourth criteria is present for abdominal pregnancy see in the abdominal pregnancy i'll just draw small small diagrams for them so that it becomes easier for us to understand so, so this is the uh, uterus and you know ovaries okay in abdominal pregnancy there is ectopic is present in the abdomen okay in some peritoneal surface okay the pre sorry at one place only not at the two places okay mm, fine in study four criteria what we see is the tubes will be normal okay the ovaries are normal there is no history of recent or past pregnancy no his not history no evidence actually that means you won't see any gestational sac or things like that will not be seen and there should be no uteroperitoneal fistula because if it is uteroperitoneal fistula then there is a chance that the uterine pregnancy might be a uh, mistake and to have to be in peritoneum right there should be no uteroperitoneal fistula and you can see the pregnancy in the peritoneal surface so these that is the you can see the presence of pregnancy which is related to peritoneal surface so these are the criteria which are called as study fourth criteria for abdominal pregnancies right next after abdominal pregnancies we have a one more see you can remember it has d for abdominal abdominal study fourth then we have ovarian pregnancy in ovarian pregnancy we have something called as spiegelberg criteria spiegelberg criteria okay how will you remember this spiegelberg criteria for ovarian pregnancy see ovarian especially in bengal this b, b is called as b so ovarian is sometimes pronounced as ovarian especially in bengal areas okay especially hindi they'll pronounce it like that so you can remember it has spiegelberg ovarian is b in bengal so spiegelberg criteria okay in this spiegelberg criteria if you see what are the criteria which you see in spiegelberg yeah, so i'm just drawing the uterus again okay here in spiegelberg criteria you will see that the fallopian tube is intact fallopian tube should be intact especially on the affected side think that in the ovary of right side of this side we have the gestational sac so this fallopian tube should be intact because there should be a passage for the ovum to pass to this ovary right for the not ovum actually you should have the uh, you know sperm and passage and then uh, zygote and then zygote migrating to the uh, you know ovary all that for that if the fallopian tube path should be intact and then a uh, fetal sac should be seen or gestational sac should be seen in ovary okay and there should be ovarian ligament should be present and connecting the ovary and the uterus you will have this ovarian ligament ovarian ligament should be present so these are the criteria of spiegelberg criteria for ovarian pregnancies then we have one more criteria for cervical pregnancy the criteria for cervical pregnancy is called as parmar criteria we have parmar parmen sorry parmen's criteria is for cervical pregnancy so what do you see in this cervical pregnancy that is parmen's criteria here i will draw the you know okay so here the pregnancy is implanted you know the gestational sac is implanted in the cervix that is cervical pregnancy so in the cervical pregnancy you see that there is Mm, no gestational sac in the proper uterus or there can be false gestational sac may be placed placed in this uterus and the uterine shape will be whole glass shaped you will see the shape of whole glass 
you know whole glass it will be like this right so because of this cervical pregnancy this cervix will enlarge a little right so you see a space of whole glass type pregnancy uh, mean you sir uterus whole glass shaped uterus is seen in cervical pregnancy and you see the cervical canal to be ballooned that is enlarged cervical canal is seen and you see placenta is also our placental tissue is seen in the cervical canal so this these are the uh, you know criteria which you do see for cervical pregnancy which is pharma pregnancy pharma and pharma's criteria so thank you guys for watching my lecture thank you thank you and thank you for watching